Sector 2 is 0.1 off the pace. Young star walking back. You're currently 2.6 seconds off the pace. You've just done a 149.74. Sector 3 years. In case you wonder what we're doing, basically practicing for the Watkins Glen 3 hour later. Starts at 7 pm. Too quick. Sector one is 0.5 off the pace. Carried too much speed into the chicane then. Uh, how many cars are in the race? Well, the race registration doesn't start till um, 30 minutes before the race anyway. So we don't actually know. Oh, there's three of us, Neff. Team NRT. Modus, thank you for 14 months. <laughs> I find that little uphill annoying because you kind of run out of third gear. You don't really want to put it into fourth. Hey, Broco. That's happened before. 
There's some part of that chicane. There's some part of that chicane that, um... Causes it to get upset. The leader has just done a one forty seven point zero zero. That, that's so weird. I I've taken the whole of this. And that's okay, but if you take the whole of this, I think it's the inside part here. See how the car's upset now. Let the car coast when you hit the bus stop. Don't touch the second curb. So I need to come in at a more, like a straighter angle. Hmm. The curb kind of crests in the middle. Yeah. I can see there's like an inner bit and an outer bit. You watch the YouTube video, they help you. What, on the course or specifically on that? The leader has just done a 147.00. the course on the bus stop. Maybe I should watch that in the break. <laughs> See, that's pretty much the same line I took. Although he's not as far left, but you can see the car getting so that's exactly the same line I took. That's so weird. Maybe it's just a random thing. The leader's just done it. 146.80. Don't know, Niff. I'm not sure, mate. You hit the elbow more, not end edge. Maybe if you take that curb, though, it's just random whether you're going to get trashed or not. Like you say, if you happen to have your throttle down a little bit too much, then boom. He should be. I think he's running the same setup as me, Ben. Alex, have you still got the same setup as me? No, I switched to the VRS one. Now you find it? It's better. I'm quicker with it, and it's still really stable. Okay. He has got a different setup, by the way. Was that the safe one or the non safe one? Uh, the non safe one. Let's try that. Pit 
exit's clear. Limiter's still on. Disengage it. Epa hype. No, because we get our setup from sites that basically you have to pay money for, so if you're a streamer, you're not really allowed to show it, right? I have to respect that. Which is why it says, sorry, I can't show you. Well, you know, I'll be honest, a lot of the numbers in it, I don't even understand what they do. But there's people who spend many hours creating the setups. And then, you know, they get a bit of financial reward for it. And if I go showing the setup or any other streamer starts showing it, they're not going to get rewarded, are they? You can make your own setups. Absolutely. But it's a bit like a black art. That seems to turn sharper through that bend. The leader has just done a 146.60. How are you getting on, pups? I'm enjoying it. Sector 1 is 0.8, off the pace. Not really mastered that bend yet. I haven't been for a few weeks, Kevin. I think you can still fly at the moment. So I might have to... And the weather's actually picking up now, so maybe I should go and do some quick flying. Yeah, it just, it feels a bit tighter on the turn, Ben, this setup. You're now 3.1 off the pace. Sector 3 is 1.3 off the pace. That lap time was 149.71. I've no idea, Ben.
Definitely seems to turn tighter. Fastest lap, and that's with 50 litres. Yeah, the track temperature is really hot. To be honest, I don't mind practicing on a really hot track. Uh oh. Because if the race is on the hot track, if the race is on the hot track, then you already know how to do it, right? Because you've practiced it. And if the race is on a colder track, well, it's actually easier and you're just going to get quicker. Whereas somebody who didn't practice on a hot track is going to struggle. Oh, that bend. Can't get my brake in right into that bend. Hey, Dresel. Oh, is the track time 7 a.m. in the race? Nice. Seven AM till ten AM in the game is what the race is gonna be. That's gonna be fun. Well it should be a cool track. That puts you two point six seconds off the leader's pace. Are we changing tyres after the stints? Might as well. I haven't really felt the tyres drop off. Sector one is zero or three six off the base. Drive on the tires. Sector two is one point That bend continues to elude me. The guy ahead's last lap time is a 148.40. Sector two is a second off the pace. I don't think I racing lets you do that, Neff. Yeah, 75% on the sprint on a set on a half tank. P5, you're currently 2.2 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0 0.8 off the pace. You've just done a 148.80. I think I need to go deeper into the corner. Sector 2 is 0 0.6 off the pace.
Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Uh, if you give it to a mod, Kevin, please. Just PM one of the mods with the link, and I'll have a look at it. Um, when I'm taking a break in an hour, I'll have a look at the video, thanks. Where's that bump again? Sector one is not point eight of the pace. Oh, man. Hey Quirk, how you doing mate? Looking good he says as I've been it. It's the second time I've done this. Quirk, how do you take this mate? I wanna watch him, I wanna watch me. Second time I've done it through here. Uh, we're currently using the VRS setup. We tried the PDS or whatever it is. It looks like if you're angle left when you take the curb, I think that's what causes it. If you slightly turned left and then you hit that curb, it kicks it up and the car keeps turning. And then when you land, you're done. This all seems to happen. Too much inside left curb. This one. So what you're saying is if you take too much of a chunk out of this one, the next one's going to upset the car. Maybe my aim point should be here. I take the first curb and then aim for this. Brake. Turn. Good to know, quote, good to know. I mean, only the highly skilled drivers can actually do that quote, right? It's an art form. The pit exit's clear. Disengage limiter. I take it you're not doing the three hour. Oops. Oops, mate. Is that my fault? No, I'm just pushing the limit of what I can take on that. No, I think I saw you saying your streams last night. You don't do them anymore. The three hour ones. Break it to the mine, drop it to fourth. Take a little curb on entry, then down to third, and don't even hit the inside curb, it accelerates all the way out. So, you don't break. You don't actually break mid at all. Is that what you're saying?
Sector one is spot point four. Break it at two hundred mark. Jeez. I mean, I am fully loaded with fuel. Thank you, Ken. You meant three hundred. <laughs> yeah, when I said two hundred, I meant three hundred. That extra hundred meters or yards probably might help you out. <laughs> Rip. Uh, Mickey Leger, thank you for 45. Glad you enjoyed it, sir. Let's try 300 meters yards. Like that? That felt a bit smoother. Good luck. That's your quickest today. Drop it into third as you're going into the chicane. Okay. Works coming to show us how it's done. I hope he's in the Audi. I'm sure he'll be cutting the grass. I'm pretty certain he likes the Audi round here. I do as well. Yes, I know he likes to hit people at full speed. Sector two is one for the someone else you likes to pace. do that. <laughs> Doctor my life.
puts you 2.3 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. That last lap was at 148.91. Okay. I can actually get through it now. That's a good start. More curb in T1, blimey. You mean on the outside or the inside? It's good to know that if you take that second curb, you're done. Why is Quirk's number 920? That's a custom number. What? It only, it only works in practice session and in certain sessions. Like, it, it wouldn't work in an actual normal race session, I think. What does the number mean? Nothing. I mean, I don't know. He just likes that number, I guess. Oh, you can just set the number, can you? I was busy looking at my mirrors and I just screwed up Quirk's lap more. Yeah, if Quirk's behind you, you want to be looking at your mirrors? I tried to get out of his way, but in trying to do so, I completely forgot where I was on track. <laughs> you set the custom number in iRacing somewhere, then. Blimey. Alright, we'll take a chunk of curb, then. Okay, not this lap. Next lap, we'll take a chunk of curve. I was quite quick through there as well then. Couldn't make it stick though, didn't break enough. Yeah, but knowing what you should be doing is half the battle, right? Like you say, it's easier said than done, but knowing. Shut up, Sean. <laughs> You've been cued it this morning. Indeed, I did. Oh, 
Oh, you can kick people from this session, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alex wants to be kicked. Now you've upset Carl. And quirks funny. Was he gonna show us how it's done? Yeah, he's showing us how to spin. Come on. He's not worked out that it's a hot track. Three years, 0.7 off the pace. Your lap time was 148.60. Warming up the tyres, it's fine. 0.15 off the pace. Best time up. And what? Yeah, you can disable a lot of stuff for it not to render like the crowd and trees and all that kind of thing. Well, if your machine's not awesome, you have to go things back, right? Hey, John. Ooh, two tenths. That's come down. That's not what you want to copy from Cork, Paul. Yeah, 49 inch. I'll show you. Oh, hang on. That one. Yeah, so I've got my uh, Warthog flight stick over here keyboard over here two stream decks fanatec wheel gear shifter with a truck shifter attachment on top and if i move the keyboard out the way i can bring the throttle quadrant in so all i need to do then is swap out the pedals for other pedals stick the yoke there or use this as you can go fly keep that view when you're driving lol what you want me to qu create a quirk top cam <laughs> We saw that. Oh, it never flies, so. <laughs> I mean, I remember watching Quirk race on this track years ago, so I think he knows it pretty well. 
like I said, he was doing 44 sevens yesterday in the raid. And we're struggling to get, to be fair, it is a war of we're struggling to get below 146. Oh, he chose to go on the AMG as well. Yeah. Stop it. Oh, he stays in third round though, that's interesting. This is going to be Quirk's fast lap, I reckon. How far is it then, Quirk? When he finishes this lap, you won't be. He's just done a 146. Let me three. have my moment, okay? Scratch that, he just did what I did. I mean, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, the track temp is very crazy. Um, 48, it's actually come down a bit. See, look, I don't get it. Like, I put it on partly cloudy, 22 Celsius, and the, the track is on 48. Yeah, I don't know. Because you can't actually set the track temp, so you have to just set the weather. I kind of thought that would give us a track in the low... Like, I don't know, high 30s maybe? I mean, I guess it depends on the time of day as well. But I, I don't know exactly. Thank God, I got a voice turn off. I should have had voice turn on. Push to talk. I don't think I have a push to talk key assigned. Dev zero button three. Hmm. It's gonna be one of these. I think it was that one. Yeah, good guess. Looking good, Quirk. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Muffle? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I, you were clearer on stream than in game for me. As in, I had to listen to the stream to know what, I, what you said. Play back. He's back in the pits. Okay, there we go. Hey, hey. Yeah, the quality of the voice uh, Kodak for Iris is pretty bad. Yeah, it sounds like a 90s telephone. Isn't 90s telephone being a bit generous? <laughs> Boy, this is slippy. Yeah, 48. So I put the track on tw uh, the day on 22 Celsius and it's bumped the track to 48. I don't get it.
You need to be beat Lol Sockers time. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. I gotta get it set up first. I was using an old setup. I haven't driven this car in quite some time. More of an Audi, man. It actually doesn't feel too bad with the new tires. It feels less like a boat and more like a car. Yeah, it feels more alive than it did previously. See, one doesn't have grass on the exit anymore, too. This is a 10 year old track model. Oh, that's interesting. Just gonna grab the PDF to try that. Yeah, practice in Dre. That's what I'm on right now. The setups are in the VRS, uh, are in the um, thingy dry. You want the uh, VRS one? Oh, yeah. I don't know, Dre, actually. I haven't looked at the shifts. Honestly, don't know. It's only three hours anyway, Dre. It's not really enduring. <laughs> Call endurance. Updated better, so I don't know. So, how old is this track then? Like in the, in eye racing, really? Uh, I don't know, like technology. The main, the main endurance race that we're going for is the you one. You have one hundred percent fuel in. Practice for the enduro. Or do you have a sprint fuel in half tank? Main uh, endurance we're going for next is the one at Suzuka, in the BMW M8 GTE. I up to full fuel. Okay, copy. No, I don't think they have the new damage model. They have the new tire model, but not the damage model, I don't think. How does a split system work by team? I think what it does is it takes an average. So it'll take the drivers and it'll calculate an average and then kind of split you that way, I think. Whoever registered the team, it, multiple registrants takes an average, right? Yeah. I don't think some quantum. Yet. Yeah, one day.
So he took a chunk out of that second curb and gets away with it. Don't want to worry your pups, but uh, you may be about to be quarkatized. <laughs> Oh, AJ, that's not how it works. It just takes an average. See, somebody registers the, for the team, like, and then the others register, and then it averages it. Your time, Alex, was that with quality fuel or full fuel? Half. Half fuel. Yeah. I'm slow at this track. That was puppies, by the way. <laughs> That's just turning to the first chicane and see if it's slightly more aggressive radius, but I wouldn't say much more than that. I'll have a look. He doesn't drop into third either, he just stays in fourth. He's left the road again. Well, he's a puppy, isn't he? So every time he's driving round, he sees a piece of grass, he goes over and has a sniff, doesn't he? Puppies need the bathroom quite regularly. Like a back edgy. Well, it's a from life to build up some confidence. The car just wants to slide around. I'm just simply testing the grass out, ready for Alex to cut it with his own mum. Yeah, when it gets down to about two-third fuel, it handles way better. I can't control my butt. I think you meant to drop into third after that second bump, maybe. Yikes. Tire noises don't sound right to me. It's a very hot track. Um, I don't know, to be honest, CrossFit. I mean, it's hard to say what's going to happen. I've not really looked at the numbers, to be honest. I mean, I learned a long time ago, to be honest, CrossFit, that it was actually better to not have anything on the screen that showed you how many viewers you had at any one time. I stopped, like, in the early days of streaming, I used to, I used to have that number visible, and 
like a couple of things happen like firstly if your numbers are lower than normal you start to feel a bit sad and then you don't put on a good show because you're like well what am, you know why are my numbers down and if your numbers are higher than normal particularly quite a bit higher than normal like if somebody raids you or whatever you feel stressed or so you start either feeling a bit anxious or you start getting really nervous either way all those things are bad for the stream like i learned that it's better to just not look at the numbers and try to put on the same show to 10 people as you would for 10,000 people and then just be yourself and then if you want to look at the numbers later fine but while you're actually streaming don't bother Beat you by a hundredth, Alec. I'm not surprised. So you might be streaming to nobody. Sometimes it can feel like that, quite honestly. Like if I play a game... Into the wall it goes. I know. If I play a game that's... Um, I don't know, Skylines, for example. There are certain games that Ooh, chat goes quite quiet that. for other games that they talk a lot and sometimes you might not see a post for like a minute and then somebody will wander in and go oh, how do you uh, have so many viewers and your chat is really quiet brackets i bet you're botting aren't you mate and then chat just lights up and goes yeah we're just lurking mate like sometimes people just have nothing to say but they just watch <laughs> which is fine other times people are chatty because something's happening in the game You think streaming is very much of a normality now for some? Um, some people straight up prefer video, Ben. Some people prefer a live environment like a Twitch, and some people like both. People consume a content in very different ways. Like, if you happen to be the kind of person that's always at work or at school or sleeping when I'm streaming, inevitably you can't watch live. So you rely on either watching the VOD or watching on Scroll Plus or just watching the YouTube. Yeah, I think the depth for the sprint race might be too low wing for the stunt. So scary. Too low wing and too much chamber for long run. You actually don't prefer to watch our racing streams, like to catch the VOD, or skip to the racing. That's really weird, because I would have thought it was either way around, Warb. I would have thought that for, um, for an actual race, you're better watching live, because, you know, nobody knows what's going to happen. Mr. Brett Sand, thank you for 26 months, mate. Appreciate the support. Hope you're doing well in Guam. Life is healthy. And you're staying safe. That's how it was for you, so you lost your job, Goose. Yep. We live in very difficult times this year. The island is locked down. I'm not surprised. Which car would I recommend to buy? What license are you? You don't know what's going to happen in the VOD too. True, but you can't sort of... You can't react with everybody else, you know? It's already happened. Fine tomorrow, but you're losing so much motivation in the current climate. Yeah. It's going to be trying for everybody. Oh, you just started. Hmm. Hey, honestly, most people do the rookie and then they do skip barber stuff or MX5. Try one of those two. You don't need to buy those. Mr. Kinducci, thank you very much oh, for the right, sir. Go straight into GT3. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Kinducci. Hope you've had a good race. I assume you've been racing. So, what did you say? I said I didn't just get Baba. I went straight into GT3. <laughs> <laughs> you lol. 
There you go. He 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 left skip. He didn't bother with skip Barber. He got his license and went GT3. Some people prefer open wheel. Some people like the GT you class. A Twelve hour endurance race. It's very true. Yeah, I'm gonna try a higher wing. So you basically mess about with your setup quirk. Uh, well, no, this is a PDS set for the GT3 sprint race. I haven't changed anything. Um, I just loaded it, but I'm going to try a higher wing. We we tried the PDS, um, but found the VRS was better. Did you find that the PDS was uh, a little lively? Yeah, the, the, P, the VRS one turns in a lot better. Yeah, I'll Would you say GT is more forgiving in terms of finishing a race after a crash on an open wheel, but for rookies? I... I honestly think it's the other way around. I think GT... People naturally play our racing and then go to GT. You get a lot of inexperience in GT. You tend to not go for the... Um, tend to not go for the open wheel stuff more I don't know it's it's very tough when you're class D and class C it's very tough it's nice that there's quite a few different services that provide setups now because uh, it takes so long to try to figure out a good set and they can be so personalized the leaders just you can done drive great on one set and drive one. horrible on another yeah true People's driving style is different as well, so. Hey, Blank Mods, how you doing? The Glen was a local track for me growing up. I'd actually love to go to Glen. That's what we need to do. NRT needs to go to Glen one day. No. Maybe start somewhere in Europe so, first. Uh, your voice is so clear on stream, and to hear you in iRacing, it's pretty bad. Yeah. It is really muffled and, yeah. Happy anniversary. Yeah. I, it's exactly the same mic as well, that's the funny thing. Mr. Blow yeah, me. Maybe one of these days I racing will get a Kodak from the century. Like 55 months, I hope you will. Nice, right, do a few more laps. I'll be taking a break shortly and then back at five. Final practice and then we're going for it. I racing uses dial up now. Track's clear. Push, push, push. You're doing well. Good to hear us up. Really, Black Moss? Wow. C type jag. See, I don't think you should ever take take any car onto the racetrack that you can't afford to lose. You know. Five hundred k damage. What to his jag or to the to the track as well? Wow. When I drove the um, Porsche at Silverstone, the GT3, um, I had to take out two million pounds worth of public liability insurance to do that. Two million quid. 
So I had to get that insurance for a month. Because <laughs> that's the minimum you can get it. Just so I could go around that track and make that video. Okay, Colin, I'm coming for you. Oh, please, Mel. Wow, rebuilt by hand. That's that's properly scary. I already noticed straight away BRS is running two clicks more wing. A bit of yeah. Well, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming for Public liability insurance is very common when you're doing, like, filming and stuff. Like, if you do something to cause damage or injure somebody as part of your uh, job, public liability insurance is a thing that pays out to cover it. OP save from not hitting the wall. Yellow flag, caution. Uh oh, somebody's in the wall. No, no, I already have public liability insurance custard, but it's like half a million quid, not two million quid. Well, that, that insurance alone, not my, I can't remember how much I paid for insurance. My annual, like, insurance is like 400 quid or something. That basically put it up to about 900 quid, but because I only needed it for a month, I phoned back after 28 days and brought it back down again. So in total, it cost me like 70 quid or something for the month. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't need it, but... Well, no, it's not just for the Porsche. It's for Silverstone track. It was the track that insisted I have it. If I'd have smashed it into some barriers at Silverstone, right? Or took out somebody else's car, bearing in mind you're on a racetrack, somebody's got to pay for all that. Like, you can cause a lot of expensive damage to a track. Mark Sterling, thank you for 39. I don't know, Ben. I mean, I've... I don't think so. I mean, all insurance around the world is pretty expensive, but I think in Canada it's quite high. I don't know, but I didn't read the details. Jean.
Well, to be fair, old one, they actually told me I could do that. They actually said, you know, I said I don't need it for the, uh, I don't need it for the whole year. Can I just bump it up for a, for a day? And they said the minimum you can do it is 28 days. Mike Quirk's time ends in 666. I don't know, uh, Dre might be joining, I don't know. Need to look how many laps it is. Work out our splits. He's getting quicker, 146.589. Which sets up a U1 now, quote. It's the uh, same set PDS, I just popped the wing a couple clicks. But uh, I gotta make another change to it. Upping the wing, um, crit is a little bit more understeer. Right. VRS is more wing with more rake. Yeah, that's what I was going to change. These guys know what they're doing. <laughs> Tried the uh, VRS too. I'm actually enjoying driving this car here. <laughs> I didn't think that would be the case. I find it quite smooth. Yeah. Right, I'm going to head out for now, guys. And when I come back, a bit more practice I'm ahead of the... driving the mid-engine car, the McLaren or the Audi, and uh, just got to be a little patient with this thing um, on the turn-in and when to hit the throttle. But it uh, feels pretty good. I just like the sound. <laughs> yeah, sounds pretty good. Right, I'll be back in an hour, guys, and uh, head of the 7 o'clock race. So I shall see you then. If you're heading out, have a good evening. Four GT sounds the best. Otherwise, get yourself some grub, have a snack, and we'll see you soon. See you in a bit.